What what up YouTube? This is my first video on Splash Splash Tech Academy. Splash Tech Academy, I'm sorry. Um so uh in this first video, uh since this is a technology slash gaming channel, I would like to consider one thing that is very important when it comes to gaming besides uh the CPU and to the graphics processing unit, it's RAM. So random access memory is a form of computer data storage. Random access memory, um like we use it uh in gaming for um like how fast would you be able to uh, access a uh, application? And uh, as Wikipedia says, RAM contains multiplexing and to multiplexing circuitry. Um, so RAM is also very is very important. And I don't I, I wouldn't recommend 128 gigs of RAM because RAM it can get it it kind of gets a little uh, you sometimes don't want to use it. I recommend either 16 or 13 gigs of RAM. GDDR5 RAM is very quick. I um, I like that one. This my laptop has GDDR3 RAM, uh, which is slower and only four gigs. But I do recommend 16 or um 32. Now eight gigs of RAM is also pretty darn good. So um the types of RAM. Okay, so um so what if you guys you guys need to know this too. Both um both static and dynamic RAM are considered volatile as their states is lost or reset when power is removed from the system. By contrast, read okay, so read only memory. So, you know, there is two types of how you um, measure your hard drive's um, speed, which is read and write. Um, but that's that is a different topic. So, um there is also virtual memory and um, like virtual machines, Windows machines. Um, I have seen a Windows 2012 server, which is a virtual machine. Um, so yeah, it's pretty darn cool. And like iCloud, um, you know, iCloud storing stuff on the web, on through the clouds. Also, Adobe Cloud, which has Adobe Premiere Pro, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that that that's my little um. Thing about RAM, and uh, RAM's very cool. Uh, but I want to also consider in this video what uh, graphics card, video cards are. So um, I'll also consider that in what in gaming, what you guys should want to uh, get for uh, how much RAM or stuff you should RAM or what video card you should get. Um, now I, I want to go to this uh, quick website. Uh, All right, now the okay, so that's the best price one, and but here's the best gaming video card, guys. It is the uh, the best high end one. This one can support 4K at max details easily with about I'd say about 50 to 60 frames per second. And now I did uh, from a YouTuber with over uh, I believe 450,000 subscribers. I watched one of his benchmarking videos at 4K for the GTX 1080. Um, you should watch that. I'll I'll probably put that in the link in the description. Um, so yeah, six hundred ten dollars, guys. Um, I, uh, the GTX uh, ten eighty is a very good machine. It's uh like look at it. It's, it looks amazing. So um, the I don't like Radeon that much, but I what I would recommend is the um the GeForce GTX nine eighty. So. So yes, it is. Uh, it's four hundred, five hundred dollars right here on eBay. I did find some for about three hundred dollars. Um, this one, I it, it looks pretty darn good. It has uh, GDDR5 video memory type, which is very quick, guys. Um, video memory four gigs, which is which is you could consider a flaw, but I wouldn't consider a flaw. It has a five K max resolution, which is awesome. But uh, let me get into what. Um, a graphics processing unit is so yes this is a quick and uh, quick uh, photo of an NVIDIA um, graphics processing unit so a graphics processing unit also occasionally called visual processing unit is a specialized electronic electronic circuit designed to rapidly manipulate and alter memory to accelerate the creation of images so yes 
there is a so I'm just gonna show you guys a test of um, testing the graphics and the CPU. Here's OpenGL and the CPU. Uh, this is on Cinebench OS X, guys. So uh, what it does right here, I'm not gonna do the full thing. Uh, let's just do CPU right here. Right, so this is how you test your CPU. So there's Right here, there's an image uh, right there. Uh, it, I, it's definitely at a very good resolution. And the OpenGL, it's uh, playing a video of uh, just a car, and it's uh, just it's a racing car. Not like not racing car, but that's how it's testing the frames per second and the speed. Uh, so yeah, this right here, you guys can see my uh, system specs right here. Graphic HD graphics uh, six six thousand series. It's not the greatest. Um, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would definitely recommend a, the, an AMD or an NVIDIA processor. Um, I, I'd definitely have to do that. Um, I'd rather, I, I'd definitely do that instead, but here's Geekbench, guys. Uh, oh no. Later. Um, don't check. Yes, this is just, uh, test your CPU, um, right there. So get over back graphics card processing unit. Um, so yeah, graphics and processing units have become have been since the start of computers. And right here, arcade system boards have been special like graphics uh, chips since the uh, tum okay since the 1970s. So uh, if you in gaming you need it, the most important uh, part is the graphics because the graphics handles all of the graphics well the CPU it um, is connected to the power supply and then it's like the main thing but in, like it you know the CPU powers the stuff with along with the power supply but the the video card definitely uh, does more when it comes to video all right hey guys there uh, I like the, the most three notable are AMD and NVIDIA and also Intel. I don't like NVIDIA that much, but I, okay, right here, guys, GPU accelerated video decoding. In another video, um, I will cover um, video decoding. Um, yeah. So integrated graphics, um, they, these are, these are different. Like my, 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 my thing is that my laptop, which is a MacBook Air early 2015, it does have an integrated graphics uh, pro um, processing units while well, you would have to go up to two thousand dollars for the base configuration um, 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina which has a dedicated graphics processing unit hybrid this is also different um, so stream processing right here I believe they am um, right here in this arm um, on Wikipedia they're they're referring to a different thing and not not uh, stream like you would stream to Ustream or uh, Twitch or also YouTube now. Um, so, right here, guys, in 2013, 438 million GPUs were shipped globally, and the forecast for 2014 was 414 million. So, guess so an external so for my laptop i don't think you'll be able to do it because i have a mac but an external gpu works through thunderbolt i might it might work through hdmi but i do think it probably does work through usb so uh you have you have a case and you put an external gpu in and then you use that as a uh, graphics processing unit i should do i could I would love to do that because my GPU it's it's above average but it's not the greatest um, and yeah it wouldn't run through because it's connecting through a port it's not through the um, internet th uh, through Wi-Fi so that's better if you have poor Wi-Fi so um, you may ask what do you think is the best price GPU now I did find the Zotac uh, Graphics card right here, guys. Um, I believe it was either like the 1060. It was the 1060. I don't know. Uh, but I did find this for about 370, 380 dollars, and it was um. Look, I, all right, guys. I'm gonna try to show you the page right here. So, was it on Tom Sarbo? I don't know. Um. I'm not finding it. Um, 
yeah, it was three hundred eighty dollars, and one website ranked it the seventh, the second best, which is uh, really nice. And the Nvi uh, the Nvidia GeForce GTX ten seventy is you. I I would use it for gaming. Uh, four hundred dollars is pretty darn good. So this is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1063 gigs. Okay, yes, right here, guys. This is it. This is the ones I was talking about. This is $200 right here. 9.6 views reviews, which is great. Um, 3 gigs of uh, video RAM. So, yeah. Right there. Um, and, and when you are editing video, guys, uh, you usually render it. And you will render it. And, um... I've watched a lot of videos on that, and uh, Final Cut Pro is definitely the quickest, while Adobe Premiere Pro, it's it struggles a little bit when it comes to comparing it to Final Cut Pro. Now, let's head on to what the, the comparison from an SSD versus an HDD. Now, in gaming, I would, if you're a hardcore gamer, I definitely recommend the Samsung. I'll put it in the description, if possible. Well, if I remember. <laughs> um, the Samsung 1TB uh, SSD, $300. Uh, so, what's the difference? So, this is PCMag.com, which I definitely recommend um, to um, look at a lot of you know, laptops, tablets, phone apps, and all this um, software like that. So, here we go. So HD and SSD explains um, the SSD is definitely faster than an RPM or an HDD, but hard drive usually with eight gigabytes cache, it does. It's usually about like if the if the SSD is at ninety, then the um, hybrid hard drive definitely at like an eighty, while the HDD or RPM hard drive is about in sixty, which is Pretty, pretty notable of a difference. Uh, so both SSDs and hard drives do the same job. They boot up your system, but like when you, if you're rendering a video or you're, um, you know, copying an application or doing stuff like that, I definitely recommend an SSD. So here's the solid state drive. Uh, so yes, yeah, speed is definitely where they shine. An SSD equip will boot in less than a minute. My laptop boots in less than 15 seconds. Um, so uh, usually, like like I I definitely have to say Samsung makes very good SSDs. This is actually a PCIe hard drive um, on my laptop. Um, all right. So yeah, it's it's pretty darn fast. It's pretty darn fast. It's about six hundred megabits uh, read speed, three hundred writes. Uh, you really focus on read speed when it comes to computers. I would. I I do. Uh, no. Central processing unit. The i7 6700K is the best, uh, one of the best, for about $330 on jet.com, on BNH. Um, so I definitely recommend that one. Now, AMD is definitely not as good quality, even if you see that it's a core and it's a, has better gigahertz, but that does not always mean the same thing. Now, um, if you are if you if you're using your CPU to like 90 to 100 percent, I would definitely recommend a good CPU cooler. So what is a CPU cooler? Oh man, <laughs> CPU cooler. Alright, CPU coolers. What they do is they like I I right here the Corsair. This is a very good one. Liquid cooling is the best, I think. Uh, you can get these at Best Buy, all the a lot of places they sell um, C CPU coolers. Now, CPU coolers, uh, they will cool your CPU, and if you, I believe, I, one um, tech tip I give you get, I'll give you guys is I would um, have uh, your your motherboard uh, have a lot of breathing space, and with my PS4, I, I have it in the open. So it's uh, you guys probably hear it in the background. It's uh, you know it's still on right now. I'm not playing, but I I should turn it off. Um, so yeah, it, it I do have a lot of air um flowing through it. So you know like air vents and everything. And make sure it's never clogged up your uh, CPU motherboard or case. Make sure you get a good case, guys. Um, the full towers they are the best for gaming if you have a big gaming um. 
a set of like a big gaming setup and especially a CPU cooler because like look at these CPU coolers right here they're pretty darn big guys um so that's gonna wrap it up in this video I'm sorry I couldn't like edit this video I was you know recording a quick time player but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a like and subscribe if um to this channel it helps me out a lot guys and peace out